ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम माय बाउ टू द लॉर्ड वासुदेवा जॉय टू यू फ्रेंड्स इन द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ द गीता Krishna says O son of Kunti sensations such as heat and cold pleasure and pain are generated through the senses in their contact with the world they are ideas only transitory each with its beginning and end O descendant of Bharata bear with them patiently parenthesis the way of wisdom is to be non identified with anything outside the self and so we must understand that by equanimity you have the beginning of the the first quality that you need to develop spiritually even minded and cheerful keep this motto written on your heart when um i have been to the dentist i've i i haven't taken novocaine in many years and i've been to the dentist many times because when i was a child i had colitis and the doctor um put me on a no milk and no cheese diet and my teeth really suffered from it and i remember i went to the dentist in bucharest in romania where i was i spent my childhood and the the uh, dentist when he heard me screaming too loudly he would just fill it up and leave it well that meant my teeth later on in life became much worse but later when i came onto this path i stopped taking novocaine and i have found that it's very easy just take your mind away from what's happening outside the dentist himself has sometimes perspired with sympathetic pain but i haven't even felt the pain sometimes i've written music or thought about a book that i was writing and thought about how to resolve some particular philosophical uh, problem or whatever it might be but again and again i've seen one time um i felt that well i'm not just this body this here and now i'm in infinity and so i've just felt my consciousness expand outward and what was happening to this little body didn't really matter that much just a little tiny pin prick in my greater consciousness now was i really expanded no i was not I was expanded intellectually, mentally, but it's worth affirming that. It's worth affirming that I am infinite, even if you haven't got that experience yet. Affirm that you are ageless, affirm that you are uh, that you are not limited in time and space, so that when things go wrong with you right here today, think well they won't be so bad tomorrow maybe or the day after. What does it matter? I'm not identified with this moment in time. and i'm not identified with this place i've had the advantage of having lived in many countries but many times i've had to ask what country am i in right now um am i in italy am i in india am i in, am I in america it uh, i have to really think it through but the thing is that you aren't here right now you're just temporarily in this body you're temporarily in this this particular culture don't identify with it the way people live around you and the things that they think are right and important don't go with fans that's the greatest thing i've often thought that people who go with the st- the people who try to follow the style of the moment have no personal taste why be told what's right or wrong according to what's done this year there are eternal rights and wrongs that which gives you peace those colors which satisfy your brain your heart If women today are wearing black, why should you wear black? Wear what you feel to wear. Don't be running with the crowd just because the crowd is running that way. I remember a cartoon in Punch, the monthly weekly and uh, the monthly uh, magazine in 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 England. I think it's monthly. Anyway, this was before the war and I was in school there. And uh, <clears throat> there were three pictures in a railroad station. The first picture it was everybody was sitting on his luggage and talking and uh leaning on canes and whatever 
Second picture, one person was rushing through. Third picture, everybody was rushing after him. So don't rush with the crowd. Just say, wait a minute, is it right? So, you know, there, there are, it's amazing how people can be caught up in, in mass hysteria. Somebody's standing on a, on a high ledge on a building ready to commit suicide. There have been people down below actually crying, come on, jump, don't be afraid. Can you believe it? But the hysteria that comes with uh, um, going along with what other people are saying, it can lead to incredible delusions and incredible errors. Later on, I'm sure everyone in that crowd was deeply ashamed of himself. But as Yogananda said, the past lives of all men are dark with many shames. It was Sri Yukteswar who said it. We have done many shameful things in our lives, but remember, all things in future will improve if you do the right thing now. So Krishna is telling Arjuna, don't be caught up in the situation of the moment. Don't be identified with the, these particular people who were yours only for a few years. And then who knows, as Buddha said that the reason we should love everybody in this world is that at one time or another, we have all been close to them. That's a bit scary when you think how many billions of people there are alive today. But I have to accept that he said it. He was a man of great wisdom. My own reasoning, however, is that the reason we should love everybody is that everybody is seeking bliss. I remember, though, I was in a program in India not very long ago, a couple of years or so, and um, there were about a hundred people there watching this program. And amazingly, it seemed to me as if, as if all of them were known to me. They were all old friends or family members. And often I, I see somebody, I say, well, I know you, don't I? No, I've never met you before, but these seemed, they seem like old friends. The more you live in that thought of eternity, the more everybody seems to you very familiar. And the way to remember your own past lives is not to be too identified with this life or this body. You're only this body, which is child, is a child, then grows up, then becomes old. You're neither young nor old. You're just passing through. Don't be identified with it if you want to be free in yourself. And once you've really freed yourself from that, then you begin to remember your past lives. You know what you've been in the past. And uh, the more you become dis dis uh, disidentified, non-identified with this body, the more clearly you remember not only what you did, but who you were and all the people you knew then and what your association with them was. Yogananda had that quality and he I remember one time I was having trouble with my digestion. He said, that's because you had trouble with it before. Just casually, I, I told him I'd loved, I'd always wanted to be a hermit. He said, that's because you did it before. Many times you would just casually talk like that to us. But remember, you're not here for the first time. You're part of a long, long sequence. Your job now is to get out of it. Joy to you.